will ask our guests to tell us a little bit about themselves, about what they do and why they do it. I've been at Berkshire Health Systems in Western Massachusetts now for about 35 years. And my, my clinical background is in nephrology, uh, kidney related uh, diseases. And uh, for many years, I did what nephrologists do. I, I cared for people who were very sick, usually um, hospitalized, critical care, on dialysis, transplants. And it was about 20 years ago that, that I became struck by the need to be committing more of my life and development around prevention and wellness. And that was a real pivot point for me. Uh, and since that time, have been uh, directing uh, much of our medical educational work out here in the Berkshires. We have residency programs in internal medicine, surgery, psychiatry, dentistry, uh, and weaving that into uh, more community-based wellness and prevention work, which is very much central to these population health models that are, uh, that are happening in, in every community. I'm really passionate about my work. I, I love what I do, and uh, I love being able to translate the science for folks uh, in a way that can perhaps help them empower and realize possibilities. And um, it's, it's, a, it's an honor and an honor to be with you, Linda, on this um, conversation and to be with Dr. Glio. That's a really uh, delight to be here with Dr. Perez and with you, Linda. So uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I do, but uh, maybe I'll tell also a story with it. So I'm uh, right now I have the privilege of serving as Dean of the School of Public Health at Boston University. And for the past 20 years of my uh, adult life, I have been a researcher and um, been Dean for about six years now. But the, um, a lot of my research has been about understanding how the world around us causes health and about understanding how forces like racism and poverty and how we build our cities, how that causes health and in particular, how it causes mental health and behavioral health. That's been really what's been my focus. Now, going back in time a little bit, I'm trained as a physician like uh, Dr. Pettis is, and uh, my area has, uh, was emergency medicine and primary care. And I was a physician for um, several years before transitioning to a more academic role. And uh, the, um, the transition happened for me when I was uh, working with the... Um, humanitarian organization, Doctors Without Borders, in Somalia. I was working in Somalia, and um, this is in the late, uh, I guess, late 90s. And uh, I was looking after a community of, uh, of hundreds of thousands of people as the only doctor there. And I was doing a lot of clinical good in, um, in a very tangible way, I think. And paradoxically, that experience had the effect on me of wanting to think beyond the clinical world. And uh, and the, the, the metaphor that I use is I felt like uh, the guy at the side of the river pulling people out of the river and pulling one person out of the river, pulling another person out of the river, but I was never really stopping to say what or who is throwing them in the river to begin with. And I became determined to understand that, to understand what throws people in the river, who's throwing people in the river. And, and I realized that to do that, I had to go back to school. And uh, so I went back and uh, the training in public health and epidemiology, which eventually led me on my path. So I see myself in my path as having been um, really concerned with understanding the forces that throw people in the river, obviously, so that we can keep people from being thrown in the river. And that's really, I think, has been the animating force behind my work for the past couple of decades.